Uh, this video is sponsored by Whataburger. It is to not. Eddie. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Third Act Thursday. Today we are joined by two very special people that will introduce themselves in a little bit. Um, but today we're going to do another video for Carpool Karaoke. And we thought it'd be pretty cool if we did um, a throwback to some of the musicals that they've been in. Um, so you guys will know which ones they are once you hear the songs. But yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. I'm Edward Lopez Jimenez, and I go to Palm View High School. Hi, I'm Selena Munguia, and I also go to Palm Beach High School, and we're going to be seniors. Oh, yeah. Do you guys know where you guys want to go to school? You took the question out of my mouth. <laughs> where do y'all, where are y'all planning to go for your uh, college? <sighs> Me too. <laughs> I have a little bit of a game plan. I okay. want to do my basics here in the Valley so I can help the theater company at Palm View. And then when I'm done with my basics, I want to move up to Texas State with their musical theater program. Nice. Amen, sister. Eddie? I, I don't I don't know. Ooh, I have to figure it out. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I'm thinking. Uh, actually, UT, you UT don't RGB. have a whole year. You have the rest of, of your, your freaking life. life. There you go. That's what I was going to say. Because I. My biggest thing when I was in high school was I felt like I had to know exactly what I wanted to do every step of the way He's after I graduated free. high school. Like I felt like I had to know, like I'm gonna graduate high school, go here, I'm gonna be there for four years, graduate with my degree, and then after I get my degree, I'm gonna go get this job. I felt like that's how that's how it was going on in my brain. And then I realized like there's people in their 50s and 60s who still don't know what they wanna do with yeah. their life. And that's totally fine. I think it's totally okay to not know what you wanna do. I mean, I still don't fully know what I wanna do with my life and I have a degree yeah. so but anyway <laughs> on what, a lighter note on a lighter note what we wanted to talk to you guys about today is about your show the show that you're doing next year what are you going to be doing I think you guys are probably the hardest working individuals at a high school that I've ever seen so I would say that I have no doubt that the show is going to be great I think you guys are going to do whatever you can to make it great so I'm excited. I, I was a little thrown when I first heard it. I was like, okay. This yeah, is I'm different. not gonna lie. I was like, that's that's a very hard musical to do. But um, I mean, like I said, I I don't think you guys. But that doesn't mean that you can't pull it off. Yeah, I don't think you guys are gonna have any problem with that. I think no. You guys are a pretty close knit group of performers, and I think I think you guys will do it. Mm -hmm. I, I think you guys will succeed, and I'm super excited to see it. Hold on, I'm gonna park because look at the camera. I just saw it. Well, <laughs> welcome to the Excuse Dollar Tree me. production of <laughs> Third Act. Yeah. I restarted it. Did you? I clicked it twice. So let's pray to God. That it restarted. Can you check? What I want to know is how do you feel about the pigs? I, was, I wasn't opposed to it at all. I loved that show. I loved the movie. And when our director pitched it to, to me at first, he was like, I was excited. I, cause he was like, the set is gonna be like epic. I was like, oh. that's my element. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> First, when I was told, I said, there's a musical about the Hunchback of Notre Dame. You didn't know? No, I didn't know anything. Like, I, I do musical theater, but I'm not like a super musical theater person that knows everything about musical theater. Okay. But yeah, I didn't know. And then I listened to the soundtrack and it's so beautiful sounding mm -hmm. and so that got me hooked right into it. I think what I love the most is the choir -y sound that it has. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's going to be fun. That's what I was going to tell you. It's going to have to be a very, very strong ensemble. Can I just say who I am? Huh? Can I say who I am? I, I don't want to get in, to, to, for you guys to get in trouble if it's not like out. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna change. It's not like, like it's, it's not gonna change because that's like the main. Because we at our school we do challenges, so someone can challenge for someone else's role. That's why we haven't. We're not gonna release the cast list yet. That's oh. dope. That that's is interesting. That's very interesting. Do you guys kind of have like a say in it? Like a diva off? 
<laughs> in a okay. way. But this year it's kind of different because our director picks like you audition for um, challenge for that role. And that. Oh, okay. Okay. In yeah. a, yeah. So it like, encourages you guys to like go out. And, yeah. Like, try it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If a person isn't, um, you know, giving it their all, they're going to say, all right, somebody has to step in for that wow. person. Wow. Yeah. So, I like that. That's beautiful. You know why? Because it doesn't just show you the fact that you can earn a role. Yes, you can earn a role anywhere you want. You can earn a role on Broadway, you know, here in a high school at a community theater, but you have to fight for it at the end of the day. Yeah, so yeah. if you're willing to fight for it, it's yours, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure he sees that and wow, that's, that's a really good thing to do. I never thought about that. That's pretty cool though, because it, it keeps you on your toes. Mandy's it? working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so funny story. In my freshman year, uh, I got casted as Billy Flynn, right? Mm -hmm. And I was challenged three times. Oh. And all those three times, I won. Is everybody here? Is everybody ready? Hit it. about expensive things, cashmere coats, diamond rings, don't mean a thing. All I care about is love, that's what I'm here for. I don't care for wearing silk robats, ruby studs, satin spats, don't mean a thing. All I care about is love. Give me two eyes of blue. Softly saying, I need you. Let me see her standing there and honest, mister. I'm a millionaire. I don't care for any fine attire banter built, might admire, but no, no, not me. All I care about is love. Now, you may be thinking I'm talking about physical love. Well, I'm not. Not just physical love, there's other kinds of love, like love of justice, love of legal procedure, love of lending a hand to someone who really needs you, love of your fellow man. That's the kind of love I'm talking about. And physical love ain't so bad either. That's the It may sound odd, but all I care about is love. That's what I'm here for. Honest to God, all I care about is love. Show me long raven hair flowing down from about to there. Let me see her running free and keep your money, that's enough for me. I don't care for driving Packard cars or smoking long but cigars. No, no, not me. All I care about is to win the guy in who's picking on you, twisting the wrist that's turning the screw. All I care about is. I'm shook. Shut the I'm shook. F yeah, it kept me on my toes. I mean, it's overwhelming. Yeah. It's yeah. overwhelming. Yeah, that's why I said I was like, it would keep me on my toes. Like I'd be like, well, crap. Like, yeah, I got the part, but it could be taken it's away. Like, it's definitely not safe. How long has that been in place? Like, that thing. Like since before you guys, or like, is this like a new thing? Because I, I personally feel like that. That is maybe why you guys are so hard like, like mm -hmm. not, maybe not this the whole reason why you guys are so hard working but i feel like that adds to it i think it it adds appreciation to what role you got oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so wow that's very interesting hmm. i like that, that I is really cool. so then like let's say can, if you get a role like let's say someone gets a minor role in hunchback and let's say, okay, let's say I get a minor role in Hunchback. Can I challenge Eddie 
or am I only allowed to be in like that role? Like I can only challenge, like, or I can only be challenged since I got a role. You, you know how that? So I could challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The how it would go is like they pick a song and it's usually just the same thing, like, and then um, they agree on a song, a scene, and they perform it in front of the company, and then the company usually gets to choose like this one works harder th and this one sounded better I like that wow more. i love that but ultimately ultimately at the end of the day the directors have the final final yeah. say yeah yeah uh, the intoxicating smell of the graveyard once a year we gather beneath our family tree to honor the great cycle of life and death come every member of our clan living dead and undecided and let us celebrate what it is to be an Adams. And then it should start around here. Well, it's because it's shorter. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the one that I edited. I like how he went into his voice and then it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. When you're an Adams, you need to have a little moonlight. When you're an Adams, you need to feel a little chill. You have to see the world in shades of grey You have to put some poison in your day That's the way When you're in Adams You need to have a sense of humor <laughs> When you're in Adams You need to have a taste for death Who cares about the world outside and what it wants from you When you're in Adams you do what Adams always do. Mi amor. You love me forever and Oh, ever. we shall be as we sorted with each other as the night we met. Our first date, you took me to see. Death of a salesman. How we love. When you're in Adams, you got to have a lot of passion. When you're in Adams, you need to really love your wife. At least once a day. You're happy when your toes are in the mud. You smile a bit the moment you smell blood. Ow. When you're in Adams, you need to grab a bow and arrow. When you're in Adams, you need a moment to explode. Rigor mortis. <laughs> When you're an Adams, you have a very special duty. When you're an Adams, you're obligated to the clan. It's family first and family last and family by and by. When you're an Adams, the standard answers don't apply. When you're an Adams, you do want Adams to or die. A director so we could do whatever we wanted right so we were trying to pick between in the heights west side story or doing our own thing and you chose doing your own thing so wow. we created a musical out of nothing well i also want to do it but we picked whatever song we wanted which is a very creative move because you don't have to pay for anything yeah. it's a jukebox musical and it's public domain Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Thanos snap. That. <laughs> Thanos snap. Ew. <laughs> Skip. I'm honestly excited for all the shows that are coming out this season. Um, we're going to be really, really freaking busy. Because um, we're, we're trying to go see every single one of them. Um, so, yeah. So, um, hopefully with sponsorships, we'll get tickets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, we're trying to go see all of them, and we're trying to also see schools that we haven't seen in, like, ever. Yeah, like, um, Harlan Gin in Bronzeville is going to yeah. be one of the biggest, like, places that we want to hit. Yeah. Uh, same thing with Rio. Yeah. Uh, all the way up there. Like, yeah, we want to try and cover as much of the valley as possible, just because that is what 
our main goal is to promote everybody across the board, um, not just like a selective few schools. But the ones that we have been promoting are the ones that we've been growing a connection with, like you guys, Robert Bella, um, Mac. Oh High, yeah, those are for sure. You know, Mac High, like all the like the schools that we've been really pushing for is just because we know more of them and like we're we're getting to know them more and we want to you know help them we get there. Straight. I'll do point straight. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's that's our plan. But like I said, I'm super excited to see you guys' show. Um, I know that it's gonna be rough, like rough, I guess, to put it up. But I, I think it's you guys. It's gonna pay off in the end. And like, oh yeah, you guys should be very. And excited. you're gonna have to work hard for it. It's not gonna be easy. Yeah. And I'm sure you already know that. But it, it's gonna be very. Hard. But what I like that the high schools do is that you guys start so early. I know. Like that you guys already have a cast list, and this school year hasn't even. Well, has the school year ended for you guys? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, because Edinburgh ends this summer. <laughs> Can we say when it's going up? Oh, <gasps> you have that information? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, as you know, it's a very hard musical, right? Right. So we're going to have to work on it for a long time. Because we're starting a little while. In August, we're going to start. Okay. So we're going to, we'll start it in August and we'll put it up in January. <gasps> So yeah. that gives us enough time to make it as wonderful and as beautiful as it is. That gives you like five, six months. Oh right my now. god. Wow. That's gonna be so good. I, I really do like appreciate the fact that you guys are taking that time mm-hmm. because that means that you guys you really do care. want it to be yeah. the best that it can be and oh, man. I can't curse. We do wanna we do wanna come up with like a calendar so that like our weekly posts that we try to do that Javi hasn't been doing because you know work um on Instagram like what's coming up this week that's I want to keep doing those so I want to have like a calendar where I just kind of copy paste bus driver <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what if we rent one of those giant limo buses and just do a car book carry up you with a bus with everybody <laughs> with oh that should that could be the finale. <laughs> All right, guys. So that concludes today's video. Um, we're so grateful to Selena and Eddie for joining us today. Um, and we hope that we can, you guys will see more of them uh, in the next season uh, when we talk about Hunchback. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Um, we thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, somebody lost their tassel here. So if you're a mission vet or you're a Robert Bella student, come get your tassel, please. Nine five six eight nine seven. I just know, I just know that I'm a pure Gemini. <laughs> so that's it. Who knows that I'm consulting? I kind of want to leave it as a surprise. Good. They're gonna love you. Anyway.